Hello, welcome to Mini Skipsakes and to the hashtag SummerSwap 2023. I'm sorry my um, video is way later than I planned, but it was a absolute perfect day to well to spend in the garden early in the morning and then later in the day I had to um, spend some time and do some admin, admin work, so that was less fun than the gardening. Anyway, um, I am here to show you and talk about my summer swap project. Um, Beth from Yes I Made It Myself and and me, um, we are hosting a swap again. I think it's our fourth swap together. Um, uh, yes, I think so. <laughs> anyway, um, so I am going to do a slow stitch project because a couple of you asked if I can do like a easy project for everybody like for beginners so and I'm a beginner myself so it will be the blind leading the blind but I can definitely help you with something simple and easy and then um, Betty hello Betty she said I should let her know or asked if I can just let her know what she'll need before I do the slow stitch project. So I was going to start this today, but we're going to start tomorrow. We're going to talk first about what we need and then we'll do something else. So for the slow stitch project, it's going to be a very simple, easy pouch. You don't need a sewing machine. Um, we'll probably just use one or two stitches, easy stitches, nothing extravagant. And so you'll need, you can use only one piece of fabric or like I am going to kind of um, patch mine together. So I will cut these or tear these up in small squares and we'll sew them onto a base fabric. So the first thing you'll need is a base fabric. It can be anything, uh, old pillowcase, um, some linen that you have lying around, a doily, uh, just something that will be probably, yes, 11 by eight and a half or even maybe a 12 or 13 Yes, we'll probably make it, yeah, by eight and a half. That should be more than enough for your base fabric. And then your patches of fabric will 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 cover the base fabric. Anyway, we'll talk about that more tomorrow. But that's what you'll need, something to kind of patch your fabric up. And then you will just need extra little things to sew on on top. We're not going to embroider big flowers or anything extravagant. We're just going to do basic things. So we're going to decorate with laces and doilies and you know, any kind of like this Swiss dot. I have this doily here. Just little things like this you can cut out. Just little things that you can sew onto your pouch because we don't want to spend hours embroidering or if you have a doily with embroidery already on it then half the job is done like this is a Christmas um, napkin I won't use that but that little edge will be cute and as you can see I'm trying to do red and blue because the winner will be announced on the 1st of July and it's also close to the 4th of July. So we're kind of going nothing too Canadian, nothing too American. <laughs> anyway, something like this and like even for my base fabric, I have this um, tea towel from my kitchen. It has an ugly stain on it, but it is perfect for slow stitching because honestly, you do not need a lot of fabric. Then that's the fabric part. Then you'll need, so you're gonna need the base fabric. You'll need your colored fabrics, any scraps will do, trims and laces, and then embroidery thread, of course, you'll need that. And then also just basic thread to sew on the base, the fabric pieces, pins, needles, scissors, that kind of thing. And a little bit of imagination, <laughs> that's all. But it will be a very easy 
project. So let's move on to today's project. I am going to use some of um, Duke's kits that she um, sent me. I'm on her design team. I'm not going to show you all the kits because this, these tag kits, she has a lot of them and they are amazing. So I'll just show you a couple just so if you if you do want to go and look at her digital kits, um, you can go to her Etsy shop. It's Duke's Craft Room and you can use uh, DT154 4 mm discount code. I will put it in my description box again if you um, want to go buy some and that would just let her know that I kind of send her your way and you can get a discount. So this, the kits are, they're large. I didn't, honestly, I didn't print all of it because it's, it's a lot. I do want to play with these. They, they're kind of those layered tags. So this one is monotone and it is just simply gorgeous. So you have bases and then the printed pieces and then you have printed backgrounds. I mean, this is just absolutely, you can do anything with this kit. I love this kit. I mean, fall, summer, spring, any time of the year. So that's monotone and then bright and busy number five. I just kind of printed a couple of tags because I wanted to, I want to add the tags in my pouch for my summer swap. So that is what, why we're making tags today is to, we need something to put in our pouches or we can probably just send just our pouches. I don't know. Um, anyway, this is green and mushroom. Just, it's just beautiful. And I love these trees. And see, if you have one or two of these kits, you can combine them. And that's what I'm going to do here. I have a bunch here and I just, I'm going to just mix and match them. And then this one is um, our floral papers, the tags, the tag kit. These tags, it has, um, she has a kit with just the floral papers. They're beautiful. Just look at this. Anyway, but she already did the work for you and the tags are done. And then I also went ahead and I printed some like on, um, I needed paper in that behind. I printed some on tracing paper. Like, look at that. It is so beautiful. And then the trees, this is actually not tracing paper. It was in between the transparencies that you can print on your inkjet printer, but it's a lovely paper. This one I printed on vellum. It's from the monotone one. Uh, this one too. I kind of printed the black and white ones on <laughs> vellum and the see-through papers. This one, my printer did something funny. But it's also, f oh, and I reprinted this one. Oh. Okay. So we're going to play with that. I also am going to use um, some of Jessica's fussy cutting that she sent me and all her little things that came with the spring swap. There's lots of little, not, maybe not the pink one, but the blues will definitely go. And even this one. And um, some of the other little things she sent me. Not the pink things, but the blue things will go with the tags. And then yesterday, my friend Laura, thank you, Laura. It was so thoughtful of you. She gave me a pouch and it was... It is it's still filled with um, fussy cutting and it has this red ribbon on there that'll go with our tags as well. Um, so I, I'm not sure if the ladies will go, but the flowers, this will, all of these will definitely go with our tags. Thank you so much for all the fussy cutting. I 
definitely at the end of the 100 day project my hands were absolutely not wanting to do any more fussy cutting it was just yeah anyway so let's start playing with the tags and make a couple of tags to put in our pouch um and the blues and the reds will work even just a neutral background that one will work too but i don't want too much i love these too much blue but i don't know um i might have to grab some red cardstock there's red that's a darker blue these are also pretty i don't know Tuki did a great job with these i absolutely love them okay but we'll make a couple of tags let's not pretend we're gonna make four thousand tags today i'll have to play on my own but let's just play around with them these are different kits i'm not sure these tags will perfectly fit like the other kits that she's put together let's see what we can do and i want to definitely see i was thinking these would look great on top of a background okay okay let's start layering stop thinking so i was thinking these i can cut smaller and make a layer tag so let's start with one and then go from there Bye. Okay, I'm going to cut this one. I love the, these because they're nice and big. It's not, it's big tags. It, um, a lot of times I'm not, just, I mean, you do need small tags, but I'm always looking for a little bit of a bigger tag. Let's see how that goes together. Okay. That will work. Can even. And with the tags, we can cut them smaller, obviously, cut them up and use papers. And then let's see. Oh, Laura had some labels here. It's like a sticker. Can't get it open. Okay, got it. Okay. And I am thinking to bring out the red to maybe put a label in behind but maybe this double red you can always do that too mm -mm, I like it there okay I'm going to cut this just a tad smaller want that label and the background to show a little bit more and I also need to cut just a little bit off on the bottom okay and that is so pretty I don't even want to add anything I'm wondering if I use some of my fabrics to bring that in 
I'm just thinking out loud. I have this, but it's might be too bright red. I still oh there is a nice piece of fabric. And that scissors it will not work there. Oh neither will this one will make it work. Okay. Maybe. And then where is my label? That will, looks good. I like it. And then I'm wondering, do I even want something on here? Because I absolutely love this. But I am thinking maybe I will just add. I don't think I want red again. There. Add a postage stamp. <laughs> I have this that I bought. Um, it's a bit too big. Need something smaller. Behind that, I just want to add maybe some book book page. Just some book page oh my hands and my brain aren't working together today it looks like okay we are going to do that smaller piece of paper here so we can glue and I thinking I do want to add some ink and I want vintage photo and antique linen is a little small for a, a glue book maybe um, yeah so I am sorry but this morning I got up and I thought oh I have to have to have to be in the garden today it was just so 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 good um, I've hurt my knee a while ago, so I I'm st I just did like the raised beds in the back of our yard. The front of the yard needs a lot of work, but yeah, I can't do that at the moment. So maybe I'll send the kids to the front of the yard on the weekend. Uh, I can, oh well, let me just ink this up quickly. maybe take the bigger one. I do think I want some ink here. Cause this will be the writing space or you can even possibly glue it on as a pocket I suppose. Anyway, I can ink that more 
once I am done. But this one, let's just ink most of it. Yeah, so I did get a couple of things done in outside. But then unfortunately I had to come in and pay some bills and do that kind of thing that <laughs> nobody of we don't want to do I well, I never want to do that. But it has to be done. I'm wondering if I should try Oh, we don't have the darker ink. Here. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's probably very loud. But I'm going to try my brushed corduroy. I just think, well, okay, that's too much. <laughs> that um, vintage photo might need a re-ink because it just feels like it's not doing anything. Okay, the brushed corduroy is definitely doing something. Okay, that looks... just want the edges a little darker. Okay. And then I'm even going to ink up my fabric a little bit. Okay. And just a this a little. Okay. Enough inking. That's the thing about inking, it always takes, um, at least it feels like it takes forever. Yeah, these kits are all from Duke's craft table. Go to her shop and she has wonderful kits. And I will have a discount code for you in the description box if you are interested. I'm wondering if I should. Yeah, maybe I will do that. Just add more ink <laughs> so that it can show even on the back. Uh, and take the fuller bottle, that bottle. It's almost empty. Okay. Yeah, so I have to say the sun is, it makes you really tired <laughs> very fast. Especially if you're not kind of used to it anymore. Now, what did I do with my... Oh, my... Now why is all my glues want to give me grief today, huh? Don't know. Yeah, this I should glue this on the right way. I should actually... I wanted to print some of Duke's labels as well. I should have done that. I totally forgot. But I'll do that maybe next time because I think we'll do a couple more labels. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go in with some oh my goodness glossy accents and um I was just hoping I had some here, but I put it on the other table. I'll show you tomorrow or uh, Thursday. Uh, just go in with the glossy accents, leave it overnight to, to dry. And then I am simply going to kind of simply going to Put a well, you can either put a brad in or a eyelet. I'm going to put an eyelet in. And I should have opened this before. Um, shall we just 
I don't think I have any gold left. Wow. Okay, we'll go with silver. Oh wow, there's a red. Hmm, I actually like the red. Didn't think I would, but I do. Just, yeah. Okay. Okay, so then you can... I was hoping, yeah, you can move this stack, but... Or you can just flip it over and have secret writing space or just leave it or even just write or put a photo on this on the b behind that and then on the back you can write or you can even glue it on two sides and have it as a tuck on a page and once the glossy accents are on and we dress the toppers and stuff up a little bit we might do that on Friday then your tag is you know something different and unique and you have a lot of writing space let's do one more i will do some off camera and give you more ideas on how to use these let's i want to use the ones that i've printed on the vellum. Let's cut it out and see how it looks. And just put stuff away as well because otherwise it gets messy very fast. And I think my printer made that mess. That's not part of the tag but we'll use it anyway. My printer, look at my hands, it was just up to no good today. It, I think it took me like, and this ink is dry, yes. It, it was very, my printer was extremely slow today. I think it took about two and a half hours to print all these tags and I don't know why it decided, maybe it was the heat and then it needed new a new cartridge and the cartridge I opened it and it just I don't know the ink was just coming out all over the place and it was just a mess anyway it is it was just one of those days do I want it on red or behind the blue or do we even want something like this no don't like that Okay, just thinking maybe something like that. I can do two tags at once. <laughs> okay, so let's do that. See, I almost feel like it doesn't need anything more because it's so pretty. Like the prints and the backgrounds and everything is just pretty. Anyway, I have some um, die cuts that I've cut out, but I don't think I'm going to use it on this one. Let's use, um, let's see what we have for fussy cuts. There's a cute little bird. Mm. I am, I'll blame it on the heat. Don't feel, oh there. That bird might work. So it has a little bit of red in it as well. Shall we add some paper on here? little birdie. I am going to just cut that little bit out in the middle just because the color is so much different than my background color. Yes and if you want to see Jessica's full 
opening of her swap items um, you can watch yesterday's uh, video and also I probably need to talk about the uh, the dates where did I write it down here so if you do want to participate in the summer swap you need to um, send either me or Beth an email before the end of the week so before the 9th and then um, we will match partners up by the 12th on Monday no yeah on Monday and then uh, we will announce the winner on the 1st of July that will be the winner announcement and I cannot decide what I want to do I'm sorry <laughs> I'm trying to do three, two, three, three things at once uh, anyway um, so please sign up participate it is a lot of fun you can end up with some potentially a new friend or a new contact somebody that you can swap with regularly maybe or not so regularly if you don't want to you don't, I mean it's always fun to um, receive things from other people see how they use things and what they use them for I'm looking for those the sheet with the big stamps um, so yes it is fun um, this the swap items that Jessica sent me was a lot I don't normally it's you don't have to send that much at all so don't feel like you you know that is too much to handle especially over the summer you can contact your partner and you guys can decide on how much you want to swap I'm just looking for my okay too anyway so don't feel like oh no I, I won't have time for that oh there it is it's not gonna be that you you guys can decide what will work for you or not anyway I'm going to glue this down and try to finish one thing before I'm on to the next I'm just <laughs> I just saw this Oh, I do like that. This die cut there. Yeah, so I remember when I did my first swap, I was very nervous because I thought, what if I'm sending stuff and my swap partner is sending more stuff or the stuff that I'm sending is not good enough or... You know I had all these things that I was worried about and I didn't have to worry so don't it does not have to be a big thing it can be whatever you think and whatever you guys agree on that's why we're exchanging emails so you can do the addresses and all of that yourself so remember to sign up my email address is Mimi keepsakes at gmail.com Beth is yes I made it myself three at gmail.com it will be all will be in the description box and um, it can be uh, when Beth and I was talking she said well maybe because it's on the 1st of July we can do a Canada theme and I I just kind of thought oh red I need to practice to work with red because I don't know red let me know what you guys think but red just feels like it's Christmas and that's just it and so I'm trying to get myself to use red in a non Christmassy <laughs> just see it in a different light I suppose because it's definitely not just Christmas it's not just Valentine's Day it is definitely oops my bird is sitting okay I need to move stuff before it dries too much just want my bird's tail to be part of the tag and not be cut off there 
that should be better yes okay and then I am going to add it with a brad this time pokey tool don't poke through your fingers okay and then it would be easier definitely to move around and write on both sides I'll do the inking afterwards and we can definitely come back and dress this up a little bit more I am wondering now that I'm sitting here if I should add this on the back and then do something on this side too and then if you do decide to add you can always glue some coffee paper down to the right or a photo or something in the back but then the back is already decorated yours faithfully um, what's this one know thyself I do like that okay know thyself and there is a small piece of lace sitting here from something maybe we can layer that in here somehow yeah let's do that and then even the inside is a little decorated Yeah, I have to say after the 100 day project I thought I feel ready but I kind of I don't know feel a little lost maybe <laughs> there's so many ideas in my head what comes next that's the big question anyway next tomorrow will be a very easy slow stitch project that you can follow along if you want to or just watch and maybe make later it's e very easy to make and like I say we won't you know won't need a sewing machine I am we're going to sew everything by hand even put the pouch together by hand oh that is a cute little tag okay let's make one more we're two more the more you do things the easier it becomes for sure like this and I'm wondering if I just want part of that behind there or maybe just a like if I have this paper there and just kind of tear it I do like that. Let's cut that off. Okay, and what shall we, what do we have for, <laughs> oh, dancers. Baggies are really hard to open. Wow, I'll have to cut this one. I cannot open it. Oops. <laughs> oh, these papers feel amazing. Maybe I'll use her. I think this time I'm going to glue the vellum down onto the 
What else do I have here for die cuts? Let me see. Just kind of grabbed a couple. I do like this. I ca I wanna maybe. Mm, it looks like a halo. <laughs> Okay, let's see this one. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. And then there's some I just have a thing here again with just little scrap pieces things that I thought I'm not gonna put away things that might work with what I have from Laura and Jessica I think that one is too close just need her to stand on something Maybe a little bit of lace. Yep. Okay. It's all coming together. I need to ink her up a little bit. And maybe for her the vintage photo would be enough. Don't want it to be too brown, just make her look a little bit vintage just around the edges okay we'll glue this one just a piece of cut off from um, avocado dyed papers I'm wondering if I should put this I just want to see with her on it where that label will sit because you won't see much of the label but a little bit so yeah maybe there where okay. she's standing okay I am going to use the art litter glue, then I can keep it here on the right spot. Okay. My die cut, this is um, the Tim Holtz wild, wild Flowers die cuts I love these I haven't used them for the longest time because my die cutting machine I used to have it in a drawer with a die or in a cabinet and so I decided I need to bring it put it on it needs a spot oh, no, the glue doesn't want to work it needs a spot where I can just get up and die cut instead of I think it's so warm the top kind of just dries out there so it's just sitting on top of a table where I can just come and die cut not feel like it's a big chore to die cut so let's see how if that makes die cutting less of a job for me and that I use my die cutting machine more often because I honestly I I hardly ever use it and it is just sitting there and it's I love die cuts and the embossing but I don't know it's just like ugh, it's too much work to get it out but now it is out in the open and I can't forget about it 
and hopefully use it more. Okay, the vellum is curling. Okay. So, yeah, the blue or the purple will fade once it's dry and the vellum might that darker stripes might stay there but I don't mind that on here usually I you know that's kind of you don't want it but I don't think it's too bad and I'm not going to put a topper on this because I do want to use some of the fabrics for toppers or maybe make a couple of fabric clusters for toppers for the tags so we'll do toppers for the tags definitely so this tag is not totally done yet oh, love this image wonder if this is I think it's graphics fairy but I'm not a hundred percent sure so maybe it's better not to say We'll put some lace on the bottom. And I'll keep those teeny tiny pieces of lace. This one not. It's just too small. But some of those tiny laces are just nice again as a tag topper or something like that okay I will wonder if I need if that blends in too much let's see if there's maybe a brown stamp that's too dark yeah I was thinking something like this no I don't think so okay that is good enough Let's just put these brads away before all of them are on the floor. And, um, oh, I do have this seal. I do feel I need something there, but I don't want to take away. But I got this seal from my friend Lynn. She found it for me. Oh, my. I don't know how hard you need to press, but let's see if I can get a embossed seal stamp on the tag here oh yes oh I love it let's just one final touch and just add a bit of gold and this is again the Inca gold okay. don't want to ruin it I just want that well, I think this gold is just not going to work. Let's see. This wax, the um, Prima wax, is definitely a little softer. Let's just close this before it dries out. Let's see if this will work. Okay, it's not as gold. It might even be a better color. Yes. I don't know if you can see that very well on camera but it looks it just adds a little bit and we'll just do a bit of gold around the edge and I can do that when I do the back of the tags I will decorate the backs the backs of the tags a little bit just ink it up or something because at the moment it's all very white okay um, I am going to decor make a couple of tags um, because we need more than three tags for our pouch and maybe add some other things in the pouch too. But today we've played with Tuke's kits, our tag kits. She's Tuke's, Tuke's craft corner. Um, no, Tuke's craft table, sorry. <laughs> I definitely need to call it a day. And um, we've played with Jessica and Laurie's, Laura's Fussy Cuts. I think Fussy Cuts, I've never thought about adding Fussy Cuts to a swap item. But I think that's a great idea for anybody because most of us, you just don't always have time for Fussy Cutting. Or maybe you don't have this 
the same book. So it would be nice to get something from somebody else that you don't own. Anyway, sign up for the swap. It's hashtag summer swap 2023 and it's me and Beth from yes I made it myself that's hosting and um, our email addresses are in the description boxes and the discount code for Duke's craft table is in the description box get your fabrics together we're going to make a pouch a little slow, slow stitch pouch tomorrow and um, we'll go from there so thank you for joining me today and I will speak to you tomorrow bye